Welcome to TFP.TV. Iran's military chief of staff Mohammad Bagheri ordered on Monday a probe into the cause of a helicopter crash that killed President Ebrahim Raisi and his entourage. Bagheri ordered a high-ranking committee to launch an investigation into the cause of the president's helicopter crash that took place. Supreme Leader Khamenei announced first Vice President Mohammad Makhbar would take over as interim president. I announce five days of public mourning and offer my condolences to the dear people of Iran, Khamenei said in a statement. Mokhbar, like Raisi, is seen as close to Khamenei. Under Iran's constitution, a new presidential election must be held within 50 days. Footage from Iranian state television showed wreckage scattered on a foggy hillside while separate images from IRNA showed Red Crescent workers carrying a covered body on a stretcher. All those aboard the helicopter were killed. Raisi, a hardliner long seen as a potential successor to Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, was disliked by many as well, and those people did jubilation and fireworks. The charred wreckage of the helicopter, which crashed on Sunday, carrying Raisi, Foreign Minister Hossein Amr Abdullahian, and six other passengers and crew was found early on Monday, after an overnight search in blizzard conditions. Also, there are questions as to why the president was made to fly in an old 50-years-old American helicopter instead of the latest Russian helicopters, which Iran has in abundance. Answer to this question has not yet been answered by any senior Iranian official. U.S. Secretary of State shared condolences over the death of Raisi's death. U.S. State Department spokesperson Matt Miller was asked many questions at press briefings by journalists as to why U.S. shared condolences over the death of Raisi, who according to the U.S. was responsible for many years of brutalities. Thank you for watching TFP.TV.